You're listening to live and local conversation on Talk Radio 600 WBOB. The lines are open. Dial 854-1320. Now let's return to Cindy Graves, politics, business, and mayhem. We're still talking. We're talking even on the break. I just can't stop myself from talking about this tragedy in the Middle East. We're here with Kay Day. Welcome back to the show, Kay. We certainly do appreciate you and all of your knowledge. Well, thanks. I mean, I just... I read and I, you know, I read and I think, but I think I'd like to see more people reading and thinking. Well, I think I'd like <laughs> to see less people tweeting from U.S. embassies saying, like, sorry, but neither breaches of our compound or angry messages will dissuade us from defending freedom of speech and criticizing bigotry. I mean, well, ma- maybe it, ma- maybe these tweets and stuff, I mean, who is in charge of, of international policy for the United States of America? Nobody's running the government. I don't know. This is what, I, I'm in more in charge of my children when they're away <laughs> you, at college than these you, people you are, of their own, of the people they're paying. It's ridiculous. Fast and, fast and furious. Solyndra. Right. The ESA. The SSA. The, all this stuff spending that they have done, U.S. aid, the hospital we built in Afghanistan has been accused of atrocities. Who reported that? Only CNN, and of course I did. But, but what I'm saying is what we have right now at this moment in our history and in the history of the world is an opportunity to stand up for what we believe and say. We, you may not like the message that some people independent of our government spread. Right. But you have no right to kill because of that message. Listen, I see stuff every day. My goodness, the, the chair of the Democrat Party is a perfect example when it comes mm. to Schultz. When she says one thing and then accuses a journalist of misquoting her when the audio proves otherwise. That's the kind of country we are. We don't well, go kill it, somebody. The entire someone. Democrat National Convention, I think at least 70% of it was, was lies, falsehoods, and misleading statements. Oh, We're going to go to Bill record. real quick. Bill, welcome to the Cindy Graves Show. How are you? Good. Uh, and I enjoy your show immensely. Thank and you. I want to say this, though. Uh, uh, I'm going to put this spin on it. Just recently, I've heard it on, uh, within the last 24 hours, actually, on national news. Uh, online news and etc. About uh, our administration providing uh, to the government of Egypt uh, in the tune of billions of dollars, uh, basically to kind of acquiesce this whole situation uh, and accommodate these people. I'm, I, for one, believe it. Uh, we got enough problems. We got a health care issue. They don't have enough money to take care of our own people. Yeah, we dole out money all over the world to so people who don't, don't appreciate it. Bill, we're borrowing the money to dole it out. That, that that's what yeah. absolutely kills me and we're paying 225 billion dollars plus in interest payments to give it to someone else and many of the times it's going to the countries that are interest payments going to other countries that that mess up our national security and put us seriously in jeopardy right. don't you agree Kay? i mean this is getting ridiculous oh, absolutely, absolutely and I, i've written about that on more than one occasion and not only internationally we're giving money to solar companies that fail we're giving money to car companies like I forget the name of it, to build cars in Finland. We, you right. know, we're, we're buying these bolts for the military, for crying out loud. Do you realize it? Time, did did y'all hear that? He wants to cut the military budget. Give me a break. I know, because it's always the military budget. Th- those Chevy Volts, now that they're going to go out of production, cost every single American, I don't know, my husband told me this last night, like $35,000 a piece. And you know what? The people who bought those Volts at full ticket price, Think about it. They're underwater, just like with the mortgage industry. Well, where do you Once plug it in? the government in? comes in to control an industry, that industry Can I begins something to here just recently? Yes, ladies. go, Bill. Yeah. Um, my, my situation, I wasn't a Romney fan. I, I, I'm a Santorum person. But I've, I, I'm a vote for anybody. I'll vote for my dog, uh, you know, over uh, the current administration. That being said, uh, I just feel that we, uh, Romney needs to hammer on this particular subject because I'm talking to people all over on the streets here, and they're all saying the same thing. We're doling out money all over the world, and yet we're complaining we don't have enough money to take care of our old people, health care, et cetera. Right. This is a major issue. That's exactly well, he's exactly not going right. to roll out his whole foreign policy before he gets in office, but you're right, Bill. And if you well, believe strongly in this, 
there there are things that we have to do, and there's plenty of information out there about why this man is a failed president, about right. why he's dangerous, and we need to get out there talking. We're gonna we're gonna rely on you, Bill, to get everybody that you know on board with this. You know, and if you want, in closing, but, in, yes. in closing, I got to say the Democrats fight like down in the Chicago streets. We we carry. Uh, Ron's kind of you know, somewhat apologetic. He like carrying a silk scarf to say, "Hey, uh, we're here to debate." If they're not there to debate. The Democrats fight like uh, they're out, in, like a gang out in the middle of a Chicago street. They're and street so fighters politically. He's they exactly are. right. Well, we'll see in the debates because I'm telling you what, <laughs> Romney was fired you. up today. Thank you, Bill. And you yeah, remember, fine. bring all of your friends. There's ways that you can get involved with this. We, we, we have a system in place for you to get out there and talk to other Americans and other Jacksonville citizens, and that is at our headquarters. Join me tonight, please, at Beach Boulevard in Emerson. We're going to have food and refreshments good fellowship, and we're going to talk about these issues. Um, Alexander has an update from yeah, CNN. Yeah, um, we're just, you know, things are coming in slowly. Now they're reporting that they, the protest was a diversion, that the this attack was planned, the protest was used as a diversion, and that, that a grenade attack created a fire in the building, and that's how the U.S. ambassador passed away. He succumbed to suffocation of some sort, and that's when they took his body and dragged it through the streets. And also, now we're being that... The U.S. It will now fly unmanned surveillance drones looking for jihadist encampments and targets around the area. So that's what we're getting at the news desk here at WBOB. Back to you, Cindy. Great. Now you go, okay? because I'm telling you what we were discussing is who's in charge. Do you want drones flying all over the Middle East that are armed when, when we don't even know who is in charge yeah. of this government? This, I mean, is, this is what cracks me up about. Okay, and, and it's, I was watching last night as... Um, I believe it was Hannity interviewed Bob Woodward, and of course I, uh, Bob Woodward I'm interested in naturally. And I just wanted to look at Woodward and say, "Okay, you're a terrorist, right? So, I, so we we capture you. Would you rather we waterboard you, or do you want to be droned? <laughs> Which one would you pick?" So the left has gone totally silent over this drone thing after all the rhetoric about water, waterboarding, which actually yielded some useful data. And I'm just saying, I'm not condoning either, but I'm saying we need to have a conversation about that. Because I don't believe that the left picks on anything except things that they believe that they can pin on someone that's running for office. It didn't work in 2010. America stood up, said we've had enough of it, and they upset apple carts with their votes well, all well, through exactly, this great yeah. country, and we're getting ready that's to do exactly. it again. That's exactly right. And, and Obama's saying justice will be done. Okay, where? In the New York courtroom? Did you like hear him did say justice Street? will be? I have, ta- I have asked so well. I have asked for orange juice at a restaurant with more passion than he said justice will be done. Exactly. And, that that, and that was I ridiculous. I want to know how justice is going to be done. Right. Obviously, there is no viable government in, Li- in Libya right now because they could not help protect a foreign embassy from what I do not believe was a grassroots movement. I believe this was an orchestrated movement. Some of the people might have been like hangers honors and easily influenced, but there was structure to this because it happened at two embassies, not one, on September the 11th. You can talk about a film all you want to, Kay, they will never buy that. No, it wasn't a film, and it wasn't that crazy cracker preacher from South Florida either burning Korans. Because the thing about his free speech is, we have the free speech to say, you are a nutcase. And stop you have burning free stuff. Speech in this country to be an idiot if you want to be. That's well, and we can call you an idiot because we have free that's speech. Exactly, that's exactly right. And and they are playing a dangerous game because in Canada and in Great Britain, remember, there are more restrictive laws on what you can say about a religion. I will not see that come to my country, not without speaking out about it very, very vigorously. And we should have a president willing to do the same the the east doesn't understand our ideology we've made all this effort to understand them i want to see them at least for all the billions in aid these countries get some of whom would starve if it weren't for us you listen to us and respect our differences Well, that's That's exactly right. And I'll tell you what, when everybody goes to bed tonight, we should pray for Hillary Clinton. I think she's the only person with the brain left at the White House tonight. And we thank you very much for listening. We'll be back tomorrow with more Cindy Graves.
For more great interviews like this, make sure to tune into The Cindy Grave Show every weekday at noon on Talk Radio 600 WBOB.